What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to use the new modular control rig in Unreal Engine 5.4 preview. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to make sure is that the plugin is enabled. So we go to edit plugins and search for control rig. We can see here the control rig models which is in experimental and as you can see in 5.4 preview it is automatically enabled so we are good to go so now with that said what i have done is imported this preemptive character spec which is basically just simple characters right so if i go into the ue5 full mesh you can see that it is just a simple character with its own rig and that's it so you can use whatever character you want for this tutorial so now let's go to the main content browser right click go into the animation section and now under control rig we can create a new control rig asset now in this case we have two first of all we have the control rig that we have seen always in unreal engine 5 which is the one that we can you know manually create rigs with nodes but then we have the modeler rig which is the new one where we can basically add models into our rig so let's select that one go and hit create and now we can name this something as MCR for modeler control rig and then use underscore test, for example. Let's go ahead and open this up. So first of all, let's close this window and just put this over here. So what we need to do now is import the character that we want for this control rig. So if we go into the control rig hierarchy window, which if you don't see it, you can just go ahead and open it under window and then uh, over here. Let's click import hierarchy and now we can select a mesh. So in this case, let me quickly go and navigate to my mesh that I want, which will be here, UE5 full, select this one, go here, import, and then click this arrow icon and there we go, press OK. And we can see that my character has successfully imported and we can see all the bones and everything here. So now the cool thing with this is that we have this model assets, which we can just drag and drop into the sockets okay and it will automatically build our control rig so in this case if we hover we can have a little hint which is you know drag and drop the spine model here for this spine 01 socket so if i now go into this assets drop down and get the spine and drag it in here boom we have new sockets appearing and in the model hierarchy we have this new model you know applied with all the bones and everything automatically selected so the root the spine 04 spine 01 and all that cool stuff so then we can go more in depth for example adding the neck model so i can just drag it for also the shoulders i can just go and drag this for both of them right left and right it doesn't matter if it's left and right it will actually want to go ahead and detect this you can see for r and l so super cool then for the hand we can add the arm model so let's go and drag it on here there we go and the same for the other side and so we build our model and now we can also go ahead and select this little you know gizmos and basically start to rotate and see how this will look which is really cool so i can go and you know rotate this <laughs> like this or Go ahead and select this one, rotate it right, and we can see that the control rig asset is being successfully created. We also can go ahead and drag the leg one here, right, and we have it there. Also for the other side, there we go. And now we can start to also go ahead and rotate everything. Uh, also we have for the foot, so I can go and drag the foot here, and then the foot. And like this, we have basically created our control rig asset now we also have for the little uh, fingers and so on but you know i'm not gonna go into so much detail but you get the idea and you know i'm not gonna re really create the whole control rig properly in this tutorial i wanted to show you just you know that in this new 5.4 preview version we can now go ahead and create control rig assets with this super easy super quick and now we have this character which is ready to be animated and everything in engine i can also go ahead and you know drag this up <laughs> which is pretty cool and you know the typical control rig behavior all right so i uh, okay yes uh, so this kind of bugged out all right kind of <laughs> accidentally moved this into, <laughs> into his back but you get the idea guys this is how we can <laughs> is how we can go ahead and create our control rigs okay and that's it guys, I found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, 
拜拜。Bye bye